probably safe to say this, this is your, your final destination. Yes. Not like the movie. All right, you guys, we're still at the Louisville Zoo right now. We're going into the Islands exhibit, which is a multi-species rotational exhibit. So any different day, animals can be in a different exhibit. So that's one special way to increase enrichment, natural enrichment, because the tiger could be here the next day, next day a taper could be in there. So they're getting all those special scents and you know, oh my gosh, there was a tiger here. Like, <laughs> so it's like natural, you know, built in, okay, I gotta be on my toes kind of a thing. Anyways, so we're gonna go inside the day room to meet a keeper and maybe a really large reddish orange primate. Let's go inside. How's it going? Hi. Hi. Good to what, see you. what is your name? Stacy. Stacy. So what do you do here? I am a keeper here in the islands mammal area. So I take care of multiple different species: orangutans like teak here, um, and Sumatran tigers, Malayan tapirs, babirusa, siamangs, and kookaburras, and fruit bats, and porcupines. <laughs> so this is called this this exhibit here. This is this is the day room. Yes. This exhibit is the day room, um, and then we have three rotational exhibits outside. So technically there's four exhibits where five species can go at any point in time. So today, Teak and his sister Amber are in the day room, but when the weather is a little bit nicer, when it's above 50, they could be outside in any of the three exhibits, and then that could change um, schedule based on the day. Yeah, so awesome. there's no routine. Let's talk about who's right here in front of us. This Beautiful. I love the color of the, his hair on, on his on his cheek pads and his yeah. face, and even his eyelashes almost seem like this um, light blondish color. Yeah, yeah. So this is T. So there's Sumatran, Bornean, and then Tapulani is the third species. So he's a mix between Sumatran and Bornean. Um, and then his half sister Amber is right behind, kind of creeping up on us, <laughs> getting the attention. Uh, but Teak and Amber, they are kind of like the stars of the islands exhibit. They opened this exhibit 20 something years ago. And they, when they were little, traveled around with Jack Hanna on a bunch of different TV shows and appearances. So they love being up front and interacting with people. Orangutans have that beautiful red hair and it comes in different shades. So if you see our other two orangutans that are pure Sumatran orangutans, they have more like a burgundy type color where Teak, ha Teak and Amber have a little bit lighter color. So the males have those big cheek pads, those are flanges, and then the females don't get those at all. And the, and the flanges, what scientists have kind of come to figure out is that helps them uh, get their long call vocalization out further than what it would go without it in the wild. So the boys get those when they mature, which is usually between eight and 15 years old. Eight and 15. Yeah. Wow. It's, a long, it's a long time for, I know, I know primates take a, or well, great apes take a while to mature, right? They do, and orangutans are one of the ones that take the longest. Mm -hmm. So their young will stay with them for up to 10 years or longer. And so mom might have one or two babies in that time frame. And that's one of the reasons they are becoming so endangered because they don't have a high offspring right. rate. Yeah. Two, two babies is pretty rare though, right? Yeah. They have twins. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, it's usually one. How long have you worked here? Uh, I've been at the zoo for almost 20 years and I've worked in islands for 12. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> so this is probably safe to say this, this is your, your final destination. Yes. Not like the movie. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Th this is it, right? Yes. I have always wanted to be in the islands area since I was in high school and I volunteered here as a job shadow because I love the um, dynamic of the area. It's not typical. Mm -hmm. um, and you have lots of different species. You have your cats, you have your primates, you have your hoofstock. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's very training oriented, which mm -hmm. is what I love to do. So I've met a few of the zookeepers around, mm -hmm. around grounds today, and I've noticed the majority of, those, of the keepers have all started here somehow at very young ages. Yes, yeah, yeah. we're a very uh, local zoo. A lot of people have started from being volunteers and then kind of worked their way up. Um, or it's just, we're, we're a real tight family here. Everybody knows everybody, everybody uh, gets along and uh, everybody has the same passion for these animals. And that's why this place is really cool. You have a lot of people that are very invested in the zoo specifically, but also in the specific animals, yeah. Well, thank you for, for sharing that little bit about the orangutans. Yeah. Um, uh, so I just, I really, think the multi-species rotational exhibit aspect of it is pretty cool. 
I think we're gonna go outside and, and check out some like some of the exhibits from the outside eventually. Yeah. Unless you were taking us somewhere. Yes, else. did you wanna go behind and see how we transfer them all from their holdings to the exhibits? Of course I did. Okay, <laughs> all right, let's go. Let's go do that. <laughs>